Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your uh, mid-month reading. So that's uh, 15th to the 31st of January 2019. Hope you guys had a really good Christmas and I hope you're having a very good year, uh, New Year so far. Uh, next order to this reading, you've also got your February readings out. So that's your general and your love reading all in one on that particular reading, okay? And I've done it that way because I have a big... Uh, Valentine's reading that's coming up for each of the signs in in February, plus the personal readings. I don't want to make you know over, overdo too much or oversaturate myself with all of the stuff that I need to do. So I thought I'd get this out of the way. It's good because you've got your February reading up as well. For your reading for your mid month, January fifteenth to the thirty first, we're using the Tarot Made Easy deck by Barbara Moore. Okay, um, and we're just going to start. It's a lovely simple deck, so we're just going to. Start flicking on that for... Just want to see what messages are coming in Aquarius for you guys in January 2019. So Universe Spirit, what's coming in? What are the what are the messages that you have for Aquarius? Show me the messages that you have for Aquarius uh, in this mid-month reading. Uh, 15th to the 25th of January. Show me. Okay, so we've shuffled. We're going to split the deck like so. We'll collect that back up like so. And let's have a look what's going on around you guys. So I'm just going to lay down the guys. And as I say, please forgive me if the readings are not as, um, you know, as long as, you know. But I think that I try and get everything in there anyway. You know, I've always tried to be give quality on the readings. I don't like giving just half-hearted shit. It's not my style. Uh, it's the same thing for my private readings as well. I never give half-hearted stuff. I just don't believe in it. People pay for a reading. They deserve quality in a reading. So that's how, the, how I operate. Uh, let's have a look then. You guys are showing up as being the Seven of Swords, which is nice. Uh, I think that you guys are showing up as being agile, intelligent. It depends on how you see the Seven of Swords. I mean, here, this guy uh, with the Seven of Swords, you can see on this card, Aquarius. Uh, and I think this, I'm wondering, is Seven of Swords a Gemini card? It might be. It's, either, well, it's, a, it's an air sign, so this is definitely you anyway. You can see here, and he, he's so clever, this guy. So let's have a look at him. Right, so... There's two swords left here, and he's got the five swords here. So he's climbing down from this tent. He's taken what he's taken, and he's gone. And he's had to leave two swords behind in the ground, okay? Um, I feel that uh, you guys are uh, quite, in, you know, you're using your smarts, okay? And he has to be smart, this guy does, because he knows he can't run away with seven. If he tries to get away with seven, he's going to trip himself up. So he'd rather leave the seven behind and just take the five. So really, this is about taking as much as you can. And I feel that you guys are quite intelligent in the month of uh, January, the last two weeks of January 2019. I think that you're taking as much as you can. I think that you're being very smart, very analytical, uh, very intelligent. I think that you're analysing a situation very well. And I also feel that you are being quite tactical. So I think that you're being quite strategical as well. You've got a strategy. So I'm seeing you Aquarians as having a strategy here with the Seven of Swords energy. I feel also that you uh, are showing as someone who has achieved enough. You've achieved something, but you've not been able to achieve everything as well. Um, and because of that, what you're facing in the month of, uh, in the last two weeks of January 2019 is the Three of Coins. So because of that, I feel that you are facing uh, a review on your work. Okay, so some of you guys, what you're facing is a review, but I feel it's because you've probably cut some corners as well. Seven of Swords is cutting corners. So instead of this guy trying to get the five sword, the all seven swords, he says, you know what, fuck this, I can't. I can't. I'm just going to cut corners. Who knows? We don't know why he needed the seven sword, the, the swords. He might have needed it for a boss, for example. All right, he might have needed the swords for a boss. And he might go to the boss and say, sorry, I've only been able to get five out of seven. So I was only able to get some of it. So I feel because for some reason, Aquarius, you weren't able to get everything or do everything maybe in time with the seven of swords. I feel that you are now facing a review of your work with the three of coins. Now, the root issue, what this review is based on is temperance. OK, so the temperance energy is all about um, blending. It's all about amalgamation with the temperance energy. Uh, there was another word that I was looking for with this temperance energy showing up here as well. Um, God, I wish I could think of that word. The reason for the review is because of temperance energy. So this is about trying to put the books into order. So equal measurement, okay, trying to balance something here. I think that somebody's balancing the books, perhaps, with this temperance energy here. Somebody's trying to balance something out here. 
It's not you, it's the reviewer. And around that temperance energy, what we're seeing is, well, there seems to be the five of wands, some form of argument or conflict. Okay, so I feel that there's an argument or conflict in terms of something that should be balanced here. And I feel that because perhaps for some of you guys, you might have cut a corner or two somewhere along the line. Uh, I'm not saying that you've stolen anything, Aquarius, but the Five of Swords does show a certain amount of deception and you are showing us the Seven of Swords. So it looks to me like you've cut a corner here and because of that, you're being reviewed. Something that you, Some work that you've done is being looked into because the books need to be balanced and there's some confusion around this balancing of the situation. Uh, what's influencing this review as well is the full energy. It's almost like you've done something foolish. You weren't looking where you were going. Okay, it's almost like you weren't looking where you were going. You didn't have your head in the game properly. I think this is you. So what's influence is a fool. I'm not calling you a fool, Aquarius. All I'm saying is, is that your actions uh, don't denote someone whose head was in the game properly. Because I feel that you were cutting corners here. I think that you cut corners and you had your head in the clouds with the fool. You might have been cutting corners because you wanted to rush off and do something. You know, you, you've got other things to do, so I'll just quickly get this done. But you did it kind of without thinking, because the fool doesn't think. So it's almost like you cut corners and you didn't think. And that's what's influencing while you're being reviewed. So some of you guys are probably up for a review of something that you haven't done or that you should have done. And I feel the root issue is, because with the temperance energy, this is all about getting something into balance. So this might be about balancing books. There seems to have been some form of an argument or some form of a conflict around this. Uh, the most likely outcome for the month concerning this will be, okay, the Four of Cups energy. I don't feel that they're, whoever is reviewing you, I don't feel that they're going to be 100% happy with what you're giving, if I'm being honest. I know you probably see it as a negative reading, but it's what I'm seeing in the cards. I don't think what you're giving is what they're happy with. I don't think that they're necessary, because they've taken everybody else's work here, the Three Cups here, but this person who's reviewing your work isn't happy to take what you're giving. All right, so there's something here that you're giving that this reviewer, whoever is reviewing your work, Aquarius, they're not happy to take it. All right, because I don't think it's good enough. Some work that you've put in there, something that you've given to uh, a boss or a, a, um, a, an overseer or, you know, a, a manager or a, a supervisor, they're not happy with what you've done. All right. Now, coming in for some of you guys, what I'm seeing coming in, well, there we go, the Age of Swords. So with the Age of Swords, I'm seeing uh, some form of frustration showing up here with this Age of Swords. I'm going to see what that frustration is about with the Age of Swords. Feeling that your hands are tied with the Age of Swords energy showing up here. Um, three of Cups energy. Um, I feel that with the, you know, the Three of Cups, so, so the Age of Swords, somebody's hands are tied. Somebody is uh, blocked off from, I think with this, because you've got a Three of Cups showing up here. Uh, I feel that you feel hemmed in. You'll experience feeling with this Eight of Swords a little bit hemmed in with that Eight of Swords. You're going to be feeling a little bit kind of restricted and possibly uh, with the Eight of Swords energy. You might also, Aquarius, be feeling that you are being, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Not abused, but you actually feel that you're being picked on or something like that with the Eight of Swords by a group of people. The Three of Cups. So you might be feeling that you're being bullied, for example, or you're being tied up or you're being kind of restrained. Uh, or limited by a group of people here with this Three of Cups energy showing here. Uh, influences around the situation are about the Four of Coins. So somebody's trying to, I feel that somebody's trying to save some money here with this Four of Coins energy showing up because this is all about saving money. Outside of the situation, somebody's trying to save some money. Uh, I'll try and get another card with that Four of Coins energy. I see somebody's trying to save uh, money with the Four of Coins energy here or they're trying to preserve or save something. Um... It's almost like somebody's trying to save something here, save their own reputation. It's almost like they're trying to save their reputation by shutting somebody's mouth or keeping somebody quiet. I don't know who this is. This looks like somebody who's instrumental in the whole thing because the four of coins, outside of the situation, you've got somebody around you with that four of coins who's trying to save something. They're trying to hold on to something here. I don't think that this is saving money. I think that they're trying to save their own self. They're trying to save their own skin. They're trying to protect themselves. It might be that they're trying to protect themselves from a problem, the the rage from rage, rage of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, strength energy. All right, you've got the 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 lion here. 
So it's not reverse where it says it goes off, but the strength energy. This person's trying to protect themselves from some form of a rage here or from getting told off or getting hurt with this uh, strength energy showing you. I think they're trying to protect themselves from strength. Okay, somebody who has the capacity to start something because the strength energy anyway, her, she's got the strength to set this lion onto this individual here. So it's almost like the person or the people who are trying to keep you tied down are trying to protect their own skin. I get the impression somebody's trying to save their own skin. They're trying to save themselves from getting a telling off, from getting shouted at. You know, because there's something here, somebody here, I feel when I look at this reading uh, Aquarius for the end of January, somebody here didn't check properly. They didn't check on your work. You might be a newbie to this job or something. I think it's a work reading. There's something here, somebody didn't check on what you were doing and you were able to go willy nilly because you're the fool, you see. So this could be that what's influencing them reviewing your work is because you have very little experience. So some of you guys probably don't have much experience in this with the fall energy. All right. You may be you're showing us the seven of swords because you cut corners with the seven of swords because you're lacking experience. All right. And they should have been telling you what to do. And therefore, there's a review of your work because whoever's checking on you wants to make sure that things are being done right. And there seems to be around this some form of a bone of contention concerning this. All right, and for the most part, the outcome is the work that you have offered or given up is not acceptable with the Four of Cups. But I feel that you are being bound with this uh, Eight of Swords energy to secrecy, to not saying anything by a group of people because the influences around the situation is somebody knows that they should have told you what to do, Aquarius. So really with these two cards, this person's trying to save their own fucking neck. They're trying to save their own skin and they'll save their own skin by binding you. By binding you with a group, not just them, but other people from saying anything about the situation. Because it wasn't really your fault. You probably didn't know what you were doing and you didn't receive the help that you should have done. This person who's checking on your work is now like, oh, fuck, I'm going to get into trouble. Shit. They're worried. They know that it falls on them. They know that they're to blame for the whole thing. Uh, the hotel with a star that the situation can be remedied. What's the overall outcome, though? The King of Wands. You've got a King of Wands showing here. So I feel that somebody's going to take control of the matter with the King of Wands energy. All right, because the King of Wands is the person who will assert and take control of the matter. I think there's somebody here that's going to take control of this matter for you. All right. Um, I do feel that, the, that whoever is reviewing your work is the person who made the mistake. You know that old saying, when somebody breaks wind, that per the person that smelt it, dealt it. It's the same thing. The person that smells trouble fucking doubt the trouble, you know? And this is the person who's probably uh, the outside situation. If they're trying to save their own skin. That's why they're reviewing your work, because they know that you've made some form of a mistake. Seven of Swords also makes, means to make a mistake. So you've made some form of a mistake here. But it's only because you're the fool. Some of you guys are new to the job. Some of you guys didn't know what you were doing. Some of you guys were inexperienced with the fool energy. And therefore, they're reviewing your work. Because shit did... did Aquarius do it right there's a bone of contention around it but you've got this king of wands there's somebody coming in in the overall outcome that will sort the situation out yeah I think there's a king of wands coming in and they're going to have to resolve the situation with the six of swords also this person coming in is going to be doing a little bit more exploration in the matter I feel with the six of swords energy showing there so this person's not off the hook they're trying to put all the blame on you that's why this group of people want to keep your mouth shut with the eight of swords they want to keep you shut they want to keep you bound they want to keep your hands bound, your eyes bound. It's funny they haven't got your fucking mouth bound. But they want to keep your mouth shut. They want to keep you shut. They want to keep things shut. They, they really want to do that with you because they know that they're to blame. We're going to quickly get this reading again. The month of January 2019, for some of you Aquarians, I don't expect loads of hands upon the readings, fingers, uh, thumbs up, because they're very specific. Uh, but they will appeal to some people, okay? I feel that you as the Seven of Swords, you did cut some corners probably with the Seven of Swords. I feel that you made a mistake. I feel that you didn't do everything you were meant to do as well. All right, because the Seven of Swords is making off with five out of Seven of Swords, which means he didn't get everything. So you, he didn't achieve the whole thing. You didn't achieve everything. You might not have cut corners here, but you didn't do all of the work that you were meant to do. All right, you might have cut a few corners. You didn't know what you were doing, but you didn't achieve everything you were meant to do, okay? Now, as a result of that, this will probably... Uh, you will face some form of a review for the work that you've done with the Three of Coins because people want to know that you've done it right with the temperance energy here. 
okay they want to make sure that everything's aligned everything's right everything is in its right place okay uh you might be dealing for some of you guys with you know medicines and that type of thing and it's really important to know that you've put everything in the right place and you've done everything right and there's been a few squabbles around this with the five of wands but what's influencing them reviewing your work with that three of coins aquarius is because you seem to have missed something with the fall energy you've missed something not only have you missed something some of you guys have been very inexperienced which is why you didn't do all the work or you didn't get it all done all right or you've missed corners all right you've missed certain things uh more than likely i feel the work that you have provided or you or you put out to this individual it's not acceptable it's not acceptable okay it, it it won't be accepted and this might be from a higher up higher than whoever this other individual is i feel that a group of people are going to try and keep your mouth closed they're going to try and keep you bound because the influence around the situation is that they're trying to save the four of coins energy they're trying to save their own necks by keeping your mouth shut this is you the lion actually and this is them strength so they're going to try and they're going to try and save their own neck and protect themselves with the four of coins energy by keeping your mouth you're the lion here so, and their strength so they're gonna the influences around this is why they're trying to this group is trying to keep you bound is because they're trying to save and protect themselves by keeping your mouth shut so the strength card is them and they're keeping you the lion they're keeping your mouth shut so they want to keep your mouth shut because they know that they should have really been keeping an eye on you properly somebody wasn't keeping an eye on you aquarius and now they know that you've made a mistake and it's like fuck what are we going to do the hopes will be that this will be resolved. It will be healed star energy showing here. The overall outcome, I do feel that you've got a higher up or you've got a person coming in here with the King of Wands who's going to explore this situation a little bit more, okay? So that's your, uh, your reading, okay, for the end of January. What we're going to do is we're going to get a healing with the uh, healing, heal yourself reading cards, which I love by Ina Singh at Sigal. And we're going to see what the advice is through these cards, okay? So let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at what the advice is. So what's the advice in this matter, please, universe? What is the advice that you have for uh, Aquarius in this matter? Show me. Oh, self-sabotage. Fuck, the Seven of Swords is self-sabotage. And you have sabotaged yourself, to be honest with you, because you're the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is all about self-sabotage as well. Okay. But it's not, I don't, I really don't think it's your fault because I think somebody's trying to save their own neck by keeping your mouth shut. You know, I really don't think the advice is self sabotage. The advice in this is, so let's have a look at what number two says. And it is because the Seven of Swords can be self sabotage. Let's have a look. Um, so, number two, let's have a look at this. Okay, become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. You are about to sabotage a big opportunity. Now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful, enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur archetype, you begin to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve and become fulfilled. The saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you with the misguided belief that if you don't try you can't fail it forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone it's really interesting that some of these cards kind of align with that as well comfort zone you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy which would fulfill you on the higher side the saboteur can help you connect to your intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom it can uh, assist you in deciphering a potential see this is it this is where i think the true advice is because we're asking what is the advice that you need to take in this situation and it says on the higher lighter side the saboteur which is you can help you to connect to your uh, intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom so even if you are the seven of swords and you're facing some form of a review it might be that you're trying to get away with something because what you're facing is a review here and it actually says and but you know there are it's not your fault you're getting all hot and cold about this situation aquarius and it's probably not even your fault because i'm seeing somebody who's trying to keep your mouth shut they're trying to protect themselves with the four of coins by keeping your mouth shut with the strength card uh, putting the heavy on you with the strength card on the lighter side the saboteur can help you uh, connect to your uh, intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom 
It can assist you in deciphering a potentially dangerous situation from an exciting one. Well, this is a dangerous situation because somebody wants you to take the blame. That's why things going on in this reading. I think there's somebody around you in uh, the latter stages of January who wants you to take the blame, but it's actually their fucking fault. It's their fault. It's not your fault. And now they won't fess up to it and they want you to take the rap. So I think you need to be careful of that one. You know, you will sabotage you. This is self-sabotage. I think the self-sabotage card is also showing up because it's saying you're going to sabotage your opportunities and your chances if you take the fall. If you take the fall in this situation, you will sabotage your chances of going forward. So if the situation relates to you and it's somebody else's fault for why something wasn't delivered on time or why something wasn't done properly, you probably didn't know. Because the fall is in the challenge position, you probably didn't know. So somebody's trying to make you take the fall. You're the fall guy. That's the problem. Don't be the fall guy this month. Not for anybody else's mistakes. Be honest and explain things clearly. You have somebody in the outcome who's probably very much, very much hell-bent being a king of wands on getting to the heart of the matter, on sorting the situation, on gaining clarity, six of swords. So if this person should approach you, tell the truth. This person who really is to blame wants to keep your mouth shut and they'll take or do all sorts of tactics to do that. Don't sabotage your ability to go out there and, you know, rise up in this business or rise up in this company because somebody wants to sabotage you. They're not sabotaging you because they hate you. They're sabotaging you because they're afraid for themselves. This person's not necessarily a bad person, but this person's really afraid. Just make sure that you put yourself first this month, okay? All right, we're going to be back with your love reading on your February readings and your general readings. Bear with me.